I'm using the Angel Tarot today. There doesn't seem to be any pictures of any angels in these cards, but they are infused with angelic energy. So I'm using the Angel Tarot. We have some huge shifts. Mars has moved from Capricorn into Aquarius today. So Mars is the Divine Masculine and is at 0 degrees now of Aquarius. So this is an intense rebirth, a cleansing away of shadows. And this energy asks us to sit with our Divine Masculine within. Tomorrow, Mars comes in complete conjunction with Pluto. So this is when these energies are merging together. We're right on Valentine's, the period of Valentine's. And Mars is the masculine and is asking us to really look at our perception of the masculines in our life because that is a reflection of the divine masculine within and over the course of lifetimes our vision of the divine masculine and the divine feminine has become distorted today Aries the moon is in conjunct with Aries in Chiron so we have all this masculine energy and Aries is the sign, the first zodiac sign and it is connected to our I am presence. So the moon is in conjunct to Chiron in Aries in the North Nodes today. Asking us to really examine our feelings. Where are we coming out of alignment? with the divine masculine or where are we placing all our attention on the male in our life where we are trying to maybe change them where we may be trying to place expectation upon them expectation and when they don't really come up to our expectations we get upset so we have the north noon in noon we have the north node in aries the south node the opposite in libra which is interesting because aries is ruled by mars and libra is ruled by venus and Venus starts a move into Pluto also and will sit conjunct with Pluto on Saturday. So during this time period there's a powerful energy of paradigm shifts. We are going through these times of really powerful magnetic energy coming from the cosmos, the, these forces coming from the cosmos, by the sun, by geometric storms, however we are being bombarded during this time of this powerful shift, this paradigm shift of the divine masculine and the divine feminine that is projecting itself out into our outside world. So whatever problems we have with the males in our family, in our, our relationship, in our outside world, it's coming from a distortion within, something that needing healing within, bringing into alignment within. So where we have given too much uh, power to the masculine around us to make us happy. In that place of 
needing things to change, having a vision and the complete reality is different and being saddened by that, being upset by that, giving our power away to our outside relationships. This is the North Node in Aries, the South Node in Libra, both governed by Aries, Mars, Libra, Venus. So we are being pulled and we've been going through this journey for some time now where we are revisiting the relationship with ourselves and allowing it to change the dynamics of the relationships in our outside world. So there is a shift occurring and it can be difficult because we have been programmed to look in the outside world for our joy. Things being presented with us that are not ideal, that are not perfect. Relationships, people. So we, we, we are having to revisit within us during this Valentine's time of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. How everything as divinely come at this period, the balance of looking at where we have gone into maybe obsessing about someone or a relationship and it starts to eat away at all our energy. We all our attention goes to that that relationship with whatever's going on there and we can start to question ourselves, question our relationship. And the moment we, we do this, we are going into all patterns of maybe control, trying to control everything in our lives so that we come into that beautiful relationship of the happy ever after. And we can, we can, of that relationship of the happy ever after. But it first starts with ourselves, being happy within ourselves. The divine masculine, the feminine has moved into this time of having to please the male through a sensuality, through her looks, through her intelligence. So the, the, the feminine is the appeasing the masculine with her sensuality. And a lot of the times that is the divine masculine, the divine feminine losing herself in all this. We have been programmed to look a certain way. And when we don't look that way, we feel unattractive. We feel that the, the divine masculine doesn't desire us but it's all coming from within it's how we we then start to behave when we're not feeling attractive when we are feeling that the masculine is looking elsewhere at more beauty so there's a powerful paradigm shift coming of all that, of the female coming back into herself. That it's our responsibility to enjoy our bodies, to feel that love within, to enjoy life, to feel that absolute joy of being in this body.
up during this week real change in our outlooks because we are changing within we are taking our power from the outside world from the divine masculine of being able to press our buttons and this can be the male as well it's not just the fem it's not just the female it's the male as well if there's a male in the male's life that is pressing buttons that's a that's an imbalance with it within the divine masculine to really take our gaze now and our retention from the outside and the temptations of the outside to change ourselves to be different to not be happy with ourselves until we achieve this perfect figure or we have this weight loss or we we change something within our within our appearance before we can feel attractive and worth and worth love we have been programmed from childhood the divine feminine as a child watching the Disney movies of the princess and we all want to be the princess the males want to be the prince charming and we have been programmed hypnotized into watching these programs and modeling ourselves from whoever it was outside of ourselves that we perceived were beautiful so as we come into puberty our teenage years and we start to our body starts to change we start to maybe gain some weight but we don't look like the princess we get spots we we get greasy hair everything starts to change and in that instance we lose ourselves because then we come into this separation from ourselves and start to beat ourselves up because we don't look a certain way we then start to self-sabotage trying to change ourselves and because we're not happy with who we are and the more we're not happy with who we are whatever we're focusing on whether it is our weight our face or whatever it might be we focus on that until it gets bigger and bigger and face changes and changes and we'll only see what we don't like about ourselves but we're waking up from that hypnosis and coming back in and finding ourselves the authentic self coming back to nature really bringing nature into our facial rituals, our, our bodies, really putting nature back into our bodies because this is new earth and the earth is calling us to come back home, back home to who we truly are back home to nature because that at the core of us is who we are to start letting go of our perceived perfect relationships knowing that everyone is completely different men are from Mars women are from Venus and to be okay with that to be okay with ourselves because as it's 
if there's any kind of lack of self-worth, lack of love within ourselves, we will create it in our relationships, in our males, in our female relationships. And then we will start to give our power away. So the moon is in Aries all day in conjunct with Chiron sacred healer bringing through this healing of the I am reminding us of who we are we are nature we are different and as we love our differences and our uniqueness and our quirkiness then we start to emanate a mystical energy is tangible people feel it we use our oils to bring us back into balance so the scent of the oil is activating our olfactory glands and everybody else is around us so as we are coming back to nature we are actually healing everyone around us. So this is a, a beautiful time of self-love because Mars, Venus have been in Capricorn. And Capricorn is the devil in the tarot which is the complete opposite to love. So looking at our obsessions of someone or something, or even about ourselves obsessing to look a certain way before we can actually feel comfortable in the outside world. Obsessing about a relationship being a certain way before we can be happy. This is the North Node, Aries, South Node, Libra, Venus, Mars, speaking to us. The I am coming into alignment with our relationships, coming in harmony with our relationships, finding that harmony first within, healing the wounds, the Chiron in Aries, the wounds that we've come into this incarnation with and we will fight with our shadow we will fight we will go into combat with our shadow but once we put down our resistance to being who we are to be to life there is a profound healing and this is what this time is bringing us profound healing of self of the divine masculine within Mars in the tarot is the tower so the falling away of the falseness the false perceptions we had over the divine masculine the power over we perceived the masculines had over us. Really taking back what's true, what's authentic. Not judging our relationships, our, the males in our lives for the way they behave, but looking how it's making us feel because they are extensions of ourselves. Uh, they are our divine masculine. They are our medicine men, conjuring up 
feelings and distortions within us. Distortions where we have been hypnotised into this is how a relationship is meant to look. And if you're in that relationship, fabulous, wonderful. And if you are in your healing, divine, feminine, wonderful. But if you're not, that's okay too. We're all a work in progress. We're all awakening slowly to certain things in our lives. So during this time of this Valentine's, be gentle. It's about being gentle with ourselves. Aries in the tarot is the Emperor. So Mars, the Tower, Aries, the Emperor. Powerful paradigm shifts occurring during this today, tomorrow and for the rest of the week as Venus then starts to come in with her beauty and her elegance and her healing for the divine feminine. So powerful energies and today Venus is in a beautiful connection, conversation with Neptune in Pisces, Neptune, the higher octave of Venus, of love, of bliss, of being at home with our divine feminine, with owning who she is, and even the divine, uh, uh, the masculines, the divine feminine within you as well, owning that part of you, owning your intuition, allowing things to become flexible, that we, we don't always have to have all the answers. Going above the judgments into this ocean of bliss. This is where Venus is holding us as we are facing and coming to terms and going through the healing of the wound of the I am present, I am, the, the I am, and the male divine masculine within and without, and, and that's all around us. So there's a huge healing on the planet, a healing of uh, a purification of our psyche so that we start to be able to flow through life gracefully as the divine mystic, as the magician, feeling moving forward now in that flow without placing our attention on the outside world or something that needs to change, that upsets us, that confuses us because we've gone into a distortion, we've gone into an unreal part of ourselves to really bring ourselves back from all that, back from the outside, allowing the divine masculine, the divine feminine to just weave within us in that beautiful emergence of acceptance of love. So I'm asking for a message for today. So please bring through a message for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video. So we have the High Priestess. The Six of Pentacles.
and the six of wands and the base of the pack we have the nine of pentacles page of cups and I am I am feeling energy surges through my body as I'm I'm connecting with these cards and this is the energy that's coming through it's a surging from Uranus and the in Taurus and that is bringing through the energy of, of change the king of wands and the knight of cups so we have the high priestess divine feminine asking us to go within to listen to our feelings to listen to our intuition to cultivate our mind when it's running here there and everywhere and exhausting us to come within our innermost environment where we hold wisdom where we hold the mystic within to come within and to feel our way through feel our way through this energy of this week allow it to guide us any memories that may come from the past with an expectation attached to it as this is how life should look go within come out of those expectations come out of those illusions because life is exactly how it's meant to be in this moment and how we are living it and yes we have visions of the way that we would live a life fulfilled and that is good that's keep hold of those visions but let go of the disappointment that attaches to our visions. So go within. This is a time of real deep cleansing of the wound of the planet. It, we're going through this deep healing of the wound. But it's such a joyful healing. It's nothing painful. It's the choice. It's the choice of taking a breath and stepping back and, and allowing whatever is going on around us to go on around us but keeping ourselves in this place of consciousness because the only the only way we can change the outside is within Six of Pentacles. Asking us to stay, stay in balance. Reminding us what we gave, we receive. So if we are desiring love, to actually give love without fear, without fear of it being not received because as we hold back and pinch off from giving love we actually we all we block it from coming with coming into our lives so being able to flow with love being able to flow with our wisdom, with without any fear of things being taken. Because when we gave fully, if 
anything is taken, then that becomes that person's karma. Because as we receive in gratitude, then we open ourselves up into this beautiful, harmonious energy of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So be mindful of treating others how we would love to be treated. Not expecting it coming that way to us. Actually walk in the path now of our divine self. And it, and it it's not difficult. In fact, it is easy because the difficulty is when we're old in a grudge, when we have we resent giving, when we when we resent ourselves. That's difficult. That's really hard. But we've been so used to, to judging others, to, to judging ourselves, criticising what, whoever, whatever, ourselves. The moment we stop that and find peace within, it's really easy. It's so easy. So the Six of Pentacles, as we come in harmony within, we start to create harmony in our physical realm. Our finances, our health starts to improve. So go within and just feel within uh, how the outside world is triggering or invoking feelings that are causing anxiety that is an unhealed part of us as we heal that we then start to heal the outside world. So this is a card of balance of being able to give with love and accept with gratitude. Then the six of wands and again every time I choose the wands I feel the wood dragons. The six of wands is a celebration. We are here now. We are at this point of making that choice of coming back into balance, of feeling that peace within, of feeling the profound healing that Pluto, Mars, Venus, Mercury, have assisted us with. Mercury in Aquarius be met by Mars who's now moved into Aquarius so this there is a lot of energy moving into Aquarius this week so Mercury the magician of the tarot reminding us our words are our spells that's why it is called spelling that as we speak we are casting constantly we are casting into our reality by the vibration that is leaving our body. Having those epiphanies now, those realizations, feeling the power of that brings in victory. We can see it now. Yeah, we may. go back into an unconscious state from time to time, but it's getting less and less because we're now we're seeing the benefits of the cultivation 
And in traditional tarot, this is King Arthur coming back to Avalon with the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail is within each of us. When we come into perfect balance with our mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, all come into balance. We, we then start to create a process within us that is a powerful, powerful activation from the higher realms, the light codes coming in, activating us. So the Six of Wands is a beautiful card and has got the dragon energy, the mystical energy lifting us into the heavenly realms feeling how we would feel in complete peace with peace with the love in our life peace with our finances peace within our well-being and feeling that peace and unlocking from everything else as we've been lifted and lifted now during this time then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Prosperity. Taking our attention away from the small stuff. Because that small stuff starts to grow and grow and grow before it takes all our life force energy. And there's nothing we can do about it. Bringing it back. And the angels coming through with this card saying, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry about your finances. Everything is working out beyond perfect. This is a card letting us know we're on our right path to prosperity to health and well-being. Just let go of the worry. Let go of any worries. The Page of Cups. He is bringing a message and there are standing stones behind him. This is new energy coming in. New guides stepping forward. We've got these immense, powerful, majestic, magical dragons all around us helping us to to really create the shift that is required in our life and to do it in the most graceful way that we can because we're all shifting this is what this year is around we're going through this shift we're moving from the mental the 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 hard rigid thoughts into our heart, the expansion of our heart and allowing, allowing ourselves to go with the flow with whatever's going on in our lives. So the page has took the top of that cup and is giving us something new, bringing something new in our lives. We have the immense energy of the dragons which really is causing a powerful shift in our lives. But also a gift of spirituality, of messages coming through, new messages connecting to new guides, knowing that they will only come through with love, never any anything else. They're, because we're connecting to the higher realms, there is only love there. If we are receiving messages of fear, that's not the higher realms because that's a, a vibration and a frequency that is lower from the angelics, from the, the heavenly realms, from the unicorns, the, the ninth dimension and higher. There's only love. 
and we are being given a gift today. A gift of shedding the old skin that's kept us in the same pattern when we've got this beautiful pattern underneath that old skin that's bright, filled with light, ready to break free. So something new starting. This could be new love coming into our lives as well. It's Valentine's and it is lined up for romance and love. The King of Wands again. The Wands, the, the dragons, the wood dragons. This is our passion and the King of Wands. He really does dance to the beat of his own drum. He is the entrepreneur, the pioneer, creating new pathways. This is the divine masculine and this is what Mars in Pluto is helping us to see, to work with our divine masculine in a compassionate way, peaceful way. The King of Wands is a good counsellor and speaks from his heart but filled, filled with passion. So allowing the passion of our divine masculine to start building the motivation to walk our own unique path. We're all here doing something different. To have the courage, the motivation, the energy to walk our own unique path. Drawing on the energy of our divine masculine within. And then we have the Knight of Cups. <laughs> This beautiful Knight of Cups bringing in a gift of love. And as we let go of the expectations, the stories we tell ourselves about our relationship, about ourselves, we open up to immense love. And this is the gift from the cosmos bringing forward this gift of love, this night here. And the nights we're still learning, but there's a powerful change. A change into to seeing the expansion in the simplest, most natural things we have in our lives. We're coming home, we're coming home to nature, we're coming home to ourselves and building that beautiful environment within us of a sanctuary, of a mystical, magical sanctuary within. So I'm going to take a card from the gods, goddesses and angels for some extra guidance. Please bring through some guidance over this period of time where we are shedding the skins and expanding into our authentic selves. We have the goddess of compassion. <laughs> Asking us to stop diminishing ourselves making ourselves small through our own criticisms and the goddess of compassion behind me is Kuan Yin and Kuan Yin is depicted as riding that dragon moving from the higher realms and coming into the densest, densest parts where there is true suffering and having compassion from where we've come from 
having compassion with ourselves and everyone and allowing ourselves now to shine our light to expand into that light feeling the goddess of compassion Kuan Yin who is around us with the dragons she's connected with the dragons and brings that compassion into every area of our lives so take some time calling calling Kuan Yin feel that beautiful energy of compassion self-compassion for ourselves and everyone every relationship every situation in our lives so a beautiful and deeply healing time and reading today thank you if you stayed with me to the end thank you i really really do appreciate each and every one of you as we're growing in this time of evolution and our ascension so thank you so so much god bless thank you